Hi, everybody, and welcome to the start of our show. Right now, we have a local filmmaker. His name is Michael Venn. Welcome, Michael. Great to see you, buddy. Nice to see you. Now, you've, uh, you've created a new short film. Yep. It's called Dark Scribbles. Yes. And, uh, and what's it all about? Uh, it's a, without giving much away, mm -hmm. it's a drama. It has kind of a twist, but it's about a psychic who I wrote it originally. It was called Dyslexic Psychic, and she kind of got things a little messed up. Mm -hmm. And uh, Are things, things backwards? Is that? Just kind of, yeah, a little, little odd. Yeah. And now, it just takes little twists and turns. Uh, so it's kind of like a thriller or something? Is that what you would... Thriller? Not like a Michael Jackson thriller. Not like a no. Michael Jackson no, thriller. No, no, more like suspense. There we go, yeah. Great. Now, it, it's a short film, so it's yeah. about nine or ten minutes, right? Yep, 946. 946. And, and you've, <laughs> you've submitted it to festivals, so you can't actually uh, jump onto YouTube and go see it because when filmmakers first create their films, they just don't want to give it out everywhere. You've, you've submitted to festivals. You said it went to France? Yeah, it, uh, it played in the, uh, the Cannes Short Film Corner mm -hmm. in May, and then it's gone to uh, seven or eight other festivals in the U.S. that it's been accepted to an official selection at. Um, it's been submitted to, I don't know, another, there's probably another eight or nine that it's, I'm waiting to hear back from. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, like a lot of people, did not get into Sundance. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, you know, me and Robert were not like this. <laughs> yeah, so, but you can, always, you can always try again. Let me ask you, what, is, what does the festival do for you? If people are out there making uh, films, uh, why submit to a festival? Just to get exposure. Mm -hmm. Make a name for yourself. It's like a calling card or... You know. mm -hmm. And do you eventually make money on the film, or is... God, no. no. <laughs> well, so making a local film is kind of like making a local TV show, like oh, this one. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, you told me that after a while, though, you, you will take your film and you'll put it up on the web somewhere so people can watch yeah. it, like Vimeo or YouTube or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Right now, there's a website. You can see the trailer on uh, darkscribbles.com. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you go to one of the festivals, which there's, it's already gone to any local ones, mm -hmm. um, you'd be able to see it. And, uh, but yeah, I'll probably put it up online. Mm -hmm. I mean, it hasn't even been a year yet, so. My, my cousin Todd, who helps produce the show, uh, he went to the New Hampshire Film Festival, and that's where he kind of yep. uh, connected with you. Um, locally, other than New Hampshire, what here in New England are festivals uh, going on for filmmakers? There's a ton. There's mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it, it, I played down in Woods Hole. There's, you know, obviously uh, Nantucket mm -hmm. is a big one. Um, there's a whole bunch. There's uh, one coming up in New York, the Tribeca Film Festival, that I hope to get into. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. There's a ton. There's one. There's hundreds of film festivals. Do, do you use it as a, a as a networking tool to meet all these other filmmakers and? Yeah. 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 I've about, gone to a bunch of other festivals, and it's really kind of weird when you go and like. For the New Hampshire Film Festival, it's your hometown crowd, so you kind of know everybody, and so then it's very awkward. But <laughs> it was cool to go down to like Central Florida and be the only person. You know, nobody knew that I was. So it was like you get a real audience reaction. Mm -hmm. and you're just sitting there, and you're like, oh, nobody knows that it's me. And then <laughs> afterwards, you have to get up and answer questions. You know, for a Q and A section, and you're like, ha. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so I'm uh, actually here. Yeah. Uh, nice. Dark Scribbles is your first short film, right? Mm -hmm. and, and how did you actually get into it? Uh, by accident. <laughs> by I, accident? What did you do? I made, I had friends that were filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, I was inspired. I always wanted to write stuff, and I was always a musician before all this. Mm -hmm. And it was really kind of by accident. Like, I ended up PAing on a, on a short film, mm -hmm. a 48-hour film project. And they were like, oh, we need another actor for this scene. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll play the police officer, because I look like a cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look like a cop played by Johnny Depp. That's just... No? <laughs> people, I don't know. No, I'm too old for that. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now uh, uh, before we go, let's talk about who was actually in your film. Oh, that woman right there. <laughs> Sorry. A woman here was in your she film. Uh, you absolutely. mean one of my audience members just randomly was in your film? <laughs> uh, she was. You didn't use my dad, did you? <laughs> you I wanted to, but he, was, uh, he had, he had a, a paying gig. Yeah, my dad's real cheap. He works for Buck Lover. So. I work. I would work for Bob. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Jack. All right. Before we go, once again, if people want to go online and read about you and maybe you know see some clips on your on your movie, where is it? Uh, it's on. There's a Facebook page, a fan page that's uh, Dark Scribbles. Mm -hmm. um, there's a dark scrib darkscribbles.com, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's really about it. And also, we noticed that you Twitter. I did. Because you Twittered that you were coming here, and we got excited. Like, woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> it was it was a mistake. <laughs> I should, oh my gosh! No, I, it, somebody told me I should tweet stuff, and tweet. I was like, "Why?" It's, yeah, I've been I've started to I do just, it, but you know now I'm getting the spam tweet back. You know, like porn things. I didn't ask for people to tweet about me and about someone else's genitalia, but it's happening. I don't know what it means. I, I have not received those tweets. <laughs> my favorite tweet that I've done though, I just have to say, is that uh, what is it? Pluto is no longer a planet. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. And I'm kind of bummed about that. Yeah. Because it's not fair to Pluto. I thought Pluto was Mickey's dog. See, I'm out of the loop here. I'm out of the loop. Oh, I didn't know he was a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Venn. Thanks, buddy. Okay. All right. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>